my last video promised to tell you the history of a woman that went naked in order to expose the secret of the gods. Together with that, this video tells about some great African women, what they did and how they died. Born in Egba land in the 1790s, she migrated to Ibadan to seek greener pasture and in Ibadan, she grew rich, richer than anyone in the land including Arela Tosa who is a warlord, Yoruba warlord. She had over 2,000 slaves and workers and dozens of farmland. So her source of wealth was from the trades she made by selling tobacco, slaves, local cosmetics and Kijekwa clothes. She gave Ibadan military equipment on credit because of the Yoruba civil war happening then and she was later crowned the Iyalude or queen of all women in Ibadan. To one day, something that would change all her story happened. Efunsheto Aniwura had only one child, and as that child was about to give birth, she died. Efunsheto was bitter about this, that she declared that none of her subjects must get married or get pregnant. The ones who are already pregnant must not give birth. She was a Christian before, but she became an atheist, questioning all gods, wondering why she should lose her only daughter if they were dear. Surely, her subjects violated her declarations, and she had many of them killed. To add to her problem, she is being envied by other big but influential people, which includes Efun Royer, Tinobu, a business driver, and Arela Tosha, a Yoruba warlord who was in big debt to her as she sold weapons to his army on credit. She now also has large army that can cause a problem for the warlord. Her death was later planned by Arela Tosa on the excuse that she was too bitter to people. She was killed in her sleep by her adopted son and two slaves. A long time ago, Ileife, which is more than Miss Town, usually gets redeared by unknown masquerades. They will kill, burn houses, and kidnap people away. Since masquerades are generally considered to be heavenly beings, so they decided to make sacrifices to appease them. But guess what? The masquerades keep coming to perpetrate their evils, as usual. So one day, Morimi, who was also the wife of Oromiyon, the heir to the throne of Ileife, came up with an idea to spy on the secrets of these invaders. Firstly, she consulted the Esimiri, a river spirit, and promised to give it something that she cherished most, if it ever complete her mission. Just like before, these people, dressed like masquerades, came again, and Morimi moved close to them, naked. She was captured, taken to Igbo land, where their king fell in love with her. She also managed to gain their trust in a short period. One day, she told them that she's going on a business journey and that she will return soon. She returned to her people and told them that they are just people like them. She planned how they can destroy their settlement and show them the way to Igbo land. So these Igbo people were defeated. Morimi later had to sacrifice her son, which is what she cherished most as she had promised the spirit of the river. Children know her as the first woman to drive a car in Nigeria, but that has nothing compared to what she was during her lifetime. Born in 1900, she was the first female to attend Abe Okuta Grammar School, after which she studied in England. She encountered lots of racism there, so she returned to Nigeria ASAP. She dropped her Christian name, Francis Abigail. She became a political activist, and she clashed with many prominent people, which includes the colonial government, military government, and a king, which she disposed. On one bad day that the devil refused to take water, her son, Fela Anikula Kokuti, had a clash with the military men that the soldiers decided that they were going to burn down his house where the boats live. They sent everyone out of the building, but Mrs. Olufimilayo Ransomkuti refused to come out. 
she was thrown out of the house through the window of the story building and she sustained serious injury. She was hospitalized and she later died of the injury she had. Thanks for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe for more African history.